fish sat in that little hole there then. What an absolute noob. He made a big disturbance when he left then. Big tail pattern on the top. What an amateur man. Well that's the only fish I've seen so far, nothing's followed my lure. I've only been fishing about 20 minutes though. Whoa! Got a slippery. <clears throat> So annoyed with myself for spooking that biggie. Didn't actually see the fish, just saw the swirl from him bolting upstream. It was close. Oh, I'm falling again. So slippery, man. Oh, man. I keep spooking fish, man. He was sat in three inches of water then. Multiple fish rising in that little shallow bit. I was catching them in the other day. I say I was catching them, I hooked and lost one. I had about 10 follows. Third fish I've had bow wave towards this lure now. No commitment. Oh, there's a fish. God, there's some fish moving here. You join me today during one of my final sessions for the trout here in South Wales way back in September. It was a really tough season simply because of the sheer amount of drought throughout the summer months. I personally didn't manage to find myself on the bank or on the river right up until the end of September simply because of the lack of water. It was a tough, tough season like I said and um, this session was a tough one in itself. It was a session of probably about 300 casts. 
I was starting to lose all hope towards the end and just when you're about to give up what jumps out of the woodwork a brown creature from the depths which you'll have to wait and see for um, as a personal best it gave me an absolute run around it pumped the adrenaline uh, I don't think I've ever been as out of breath and as shaky and as nervous and scared as uh, as I was during the fight with this fish and um, I'm hoping to recreate it sometime in the future though I don't know whether my nerves will be able to take it uh, as you can see I'm using the Shimano Aldebaran BFS XG I use it for my trout fishing and my perch fishing um, and it covers all the bases really and I paired that one with the Majorcraft fine tail travel rod I think it's the FTX 425 UL model and I've caught thousands of trout on it right from three inches two inches long all the way up to what arrives at the end of this video so like I said stay tuned and uh, and you'll see that beautiful fish and I hope you enjoy if you do enjoy like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one This is a huge fish. Really big one. Oh, come on, please don't come off. Please, 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 come on. Come on, please. Come to me. Ooh. This is stressful. Come on. I'm going to go there. Come to me, baby. Every jump. No, no, no. River water in the eyes. I can't see him. Oh, this is a calamity. This is a calamity. Waiting to happen. I'm breathing very heavily, I know. Yes! Chill out. Oh my God, what a fish. I'm absolutely rattling. Oh my god. That is a f***ing unit. Excuse my French. A big male fish. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh yes, he was out. Don't you dare thrash with that bit. That is such, such an amazing fish. 
<laughs> That's what excuse my excitement. <sighs> oh dear me, look at him, man. Look at that across the back. The size on his head. <laughs> it's just an unbelievable animal. I mean, I'm pretty speechless, to be honest. Absolutely speechless, to be fair. I'm just keeping this fish in the water the whole time. It's such a special animal that they need to be treated with the utmost respect. I, I can tell you straight away now that is the biggest brown trout I've ever caught out this river. Oh, yes! Crazy, crazy animals.